Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, um, another request from a student looking at the rates of change section of calculus, which I think, in my opinion, is, is probably the harder section of, of calculus. It's right at the end there of the applications of calculus. Um, so this question read, the volume of a sphere is increasing at a rate of 24 pi centimetres cubed per second. Find the rate of increase of the radius when it is 6 centimetres in length. Just rewrite that again now in case it's hard to read. So 6 centimetres in length. Okay, so... There's a couple of little tricks to rates of change questions. The first most important one is that when it just said something is increasing at a rate, okay? And it doesn't say with respect to the radius or it doesn't say with respect to anything. It just said that in this case, the volume is increasing at a, re at a rate, okay? Then that means that that is a dv dt, okay? So this is the volume of the sphere okay and this is um the rate at which it's increasing because when it doesn't say when it writes it like this it's with respect to time okay so it's how much is the volume increasing over time okay which is why you always put um, a dt you put it over a dt so this reads volume is it, it's the rate of change of volume with respect to time. So that is equal to 24 pi centimeters cubed per second. Okay, so this is the other clue. Centimeters cubed, as you know, is, is volume. Okay, so that's your, your volume. And then per second, so this means per second is your time. Okay, so per second. Right, so, so that's the first thing that's that's really important to write down. Okay, um, and it says the the volume of a sphere. Okay, so let's have a look at the volume of a sphere, and and I'm going to take this from the log tables, page ten. Um, it has our surface area and volume of our shapes. So it's a sphere. So it's volume. So it's four over three pi r cubed. Okay, so v volume of a sphere is equal to four over three pi r cubed. Okay, so when I look at this and I look at the rate of change of volume in here, well, what dictates the volume of a sphere? Well, the only variable in it is the radius. Okay, so it's it's a ball shaped. So all that can change on that really is the radius. Okay, if you change the radius, you change the sphere, the volume of the sphere. So the volume of a sphere is totally dependent on the radius. 4 over 3 is what we call a constant. It's never going to change. It's just a number. Pi is another constant. It's just a number, 3.14. But the radius is a variable. Okay, so the only thing you can um, differentiate volume with respect to in a sphere is the radius. Okay, so so let's let's do that. So it's 4 over 3 pi, and then the radius, take down the power, reduce the power by 1. So it's 3 times r squared. 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom, cancel. So you end up with 4 pi r squared. Okay, so that was just a closer look at the volume of a sphere, because this is basically what's inbred in this. Okay, now it says find the rate of increase of the radius. Okay, so that's a dr. Now, um, a another another trick. Okay, so the first one is is knowing that that most things is with respect to time. Okay, um, dv dt. Okay, um, it can be broken up. into various little uh, components that together make up the rate of change of volume. Okay, so you can see my dv dt. Okay, so whatever I'm going to put here, whatever term I'm going to put here, I'm also going to put it up here. Okay, so what am I going to put here? Well, I'm going to put dr. Okay, 
because I can, I do have the power to differentiate volume with respect to the radius. Okay, but my overall question is talking about the rate of change of volume, which is dv dt. Okay, so basically I put the dr there and in theory the two of them cancel one the top one at the bottom and I'm still left with dv dt. I've just broken it up into two separate parts. I'm going to look at the rate of change of volume with respect to radius and I'm going to look at the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. Okay, so the radius is changing with respect to time here and that change in radius is having a change on the volume. So they're all interconnected and all of them gives you the overall rate of change of volume. So in rates of change question, you are normally breaking it out into, into parts. Okay, so just explain how I do that again. Okay, so there's my dv dt. So I still need a dv on the top. I need a dv on dt on the bottom. So this is how I set them up, okay? And then I look at the question, the information in the question. I look at the formula for whatever they're talking about. And I figure out what could I uh, differentiate volume with respect to. And in this case, you can see it's the radius, okay? So the radius then goes in here and here, okay? And they're multiplied by each other. And in theory, they cancel and I'm just left with dv dt. Okay, why do I break them out? Um, because I can get different pieces of the information from different sections of the question. So this question says, find the rate of increase of the radius. Okay, so this is actually what I'm looking for. Okay, so again, it's with respect to time. If they're looking for the rate of increase with the radius, that has got to be over time. Okay, so this is what I need. Okay, um, they've given me, um, they want to know the, the rate, find the rate of increase of the radius when it's six centimeters in length. Okay, so I'll come back to that now in a second. So dv dt, they gave us in the question, the volume of the sphere and what it's increasing by. So that is 24 pi and that's equal to dv dr which is four pi r squared by d r d t. Okay, now when r is equal to six centimeters, I'm left with 24 pi being equal to four pi six squared by d r d t. Okay, I'm just gonna continue that up here. So I have 24 pi being equal to six sixes or 36 by four is one four four pi by d or dt, okay? And I need d or dt, so let's divide across by one four four pi. So I end up with 24 pi over one four four pi by d or dt. Okay, the pi's cancel. And you're left with calculator. You're left with one over six. Let me write down dr dt equals first. So dr dt equals a sixth. Now what's its units? Okay, well it's radius and that's centimeters. And it's with respect to time, so it's per second. Okay, so the radius is increasing at a rate of one sixth centimeters per second. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self driving technologies which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.